In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We celebrate today the memorial of St. John of the Cross, a very important figure in our church. He is uh, one of the great reformers in the 16th century, reformers of the church. And so we pray through his intercession that we too may go through our own conversion as individuals, as a nation, as church. So let us begin our celebration, always mindful that we are gathered by a God who is merciful, a God who is always eager to renew us in his love. And in that love, we have the courage to confront our faults, our failures, to admit them, to ask God to forgive us. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest St. John an outstanding dedication to perfect self-denial and love of the cross, grant that by imitating him closely at all times, we may come to contemplate eternally your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Sephaniah. Thus says the Lord, Woe to the city, rebellious and polluted, to the tyrannical city. She hears no voice, accepts no correction. In the Lord she has not trusted, to her God she has not drawn near. For then I will change and purify the lips of the peoples, that they may call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one accord. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia and as far as the recesses of the north, they shall bring me offerings. On that day, you need not be ashamed of all your deeds, your rebellious actions against me, for then will I remove from your midst the proud braggarts, and you shall no longer exalt yourself on the holy mountain. But I will leave as a remnant in your midst a people, humble and lowly, who shall take refuge in the name of the Lord, the remnant of Israel. They shall do no wrong and speak no lies, nor shall there be found in their mouths a deceitful tongue. They shall pasture and couch their flocks with none to disturb them. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord, the Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord, the Lord hears, hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord, the Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Alleluia, alleluia. Come, O Lord, do not delay. Forgive the sins of your people. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, What is your opinion? A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. The son said in reply, I will not. But afterwards, he changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in reply, Yes, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did his father's will? They answered, The first. Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you. Tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We submit ourselves to the judgment of God. We are already in the third week of Advent. And this season of Advent, as we know, is a season of waiting, of preparation, a longing. You know, a longing for God's coming. A longing for God's uh, total uh, reign over ourselves, over our world. And this is so too often, no, uh, wrapped in sentimentality, you know, the, the sentimentality of the Christ child. You know, and it's natural, but it's good, as um, the church invites us to do through these readings. You know, the church invites us to really be aware that coming to God, approaching God, necessarily involves being judged by God. We know that we are not what God intends us to be. And in those aspects, in those ways where we still have a lot of room to grow, those areas, we have to open ourselves humbly. And that's the point that we hear in the Gospels and in the first reading as well, which are echoes even of the gospel that we heard on Sunday. John the Baptist came preaching, we are told, preaching good news. But what do the gospels record? He's telling them what they have done wrong and how they can correct their lives. That is a judgment that we all must submit to if we are to approach God. In the gospel, we hear of this parable of the two sons. As we know, in a parable, it's really one point that is being made. No? It's not an allegory, uh, not you know, looking at all the many different details, but one point that comes out. And 
of the two sons. No? The first son says, uh, I will not follow you, father, but then goes out and does it. And then the second son, I will do it, and then doesn't do it. And then the question of Jesus, who did the father's will, the first one? The point that comes out is appearances do not really matter. Not that we will not pay attention to those appearances, but what really matters is what is inside. That is what, have, what we have to be concerned about. And who sees what is inside? We can see a little bit of that for ourselves. We probably cannot see much of that about others. But God is the one who sees our, through our hearts. And so, Jesus, in, in the Gospel of Matthew, this parable appears in the midst of Jesus' controversy with the Pharisees and the scribes, you know, people who saw themselves as upright Jews, you know, righteous Jews, and who were scandalized by Jesus uh, mixing, mingling with uh, sinners, tax collectors, prostitutes, you know, the same kind of people who, in Sunday's Gospel, approached John, John the Baptist, and asked John, what should we do? They were the ones who were eager and interested. They recognized their own need for conversion, and they were interested in conversion, unlike those who were self-righteous, those who had the appearance of being faithful, of being obedient. But because of that, God regards them, as we heard in the first reading, as the braggarts, the proud braggarts who are then going to be uh, removed by God from the mountain. And who will be left? The lowly, the humble, people who recognize their need for conversion, their need for healing. And so we pray you know, that as we draw nearer to the season of Christmas, this feast of God entering into our lives, may we never lose sight of how we ourselves are in need of conversion, in need of being transformed, and not be, you know, uh, distracted by how we assess and appraise uh, people around us and measure ourselves against them. Because in the last analysis, it is God's judgment that matters. And so we must submit ourselves to the judgment of God and come with all humility, with all lowliness, and ask God to transform us. Let us now offer to God our prayers. The parable of the two sons shows that sinners who turn to God are those who go and work in the vineyard. Let us hearken to Advent's call to come back to God and be healed. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Grant that the Pope, the bishops, the clergy, and the consecrated men and women may prove themselves humble and faithful workers in the vineyard of the Lord, content with the heavenly reward, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. Grant that the lay faithful themselves may become evangelizers in answer to Jesus' invitation, you go to my vineyard too, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Grant that those who have grown cold in their faith or stayed away from the practice of religion may be moved by the Spirit of God to return home looking for God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant that the brokenhearted and those who are crushed in spirit may take refuge in the Lord and experience the joy of His coming, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant that those who are convinced of their righteousness and feel no need of repentance may change their mind and ask for a heart humbled and contrite that is pleasing to the Lord, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
For those celebrating their birthdays, especially Misha Bernas, Marivik Pecho, Father Joel Lilwanag of the Society of Jesus, Father Mads Tumbali of the Society of Jesus, Tutor Katindig, Lenny Connell, Zeni Ochon, Junji Abelia, and Father J. Lituanyas, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the healing of Frederick Castillo and Emily Quasso, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Federico Santos Jr., Gorge Ramos, Roberto Jose da Silva, Estelita Donado, Merle Ruiz, Jaime Felipe Lanusa, Henry D., and Father Jim O'Donnell of the Society of Jesus, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of Helena Kennedy, Carlos and Linda Lau, and Tony and Eva Galvez on their wedding anniversaries, and the Xi family, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions you have sent to our Facebook pages at JASCOM and Radio Katipunan, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, hear the humble petitions of your children and come to our rescue. Change and purify the hearts of your people that we may praise and serve you with one accord. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, may it become for us a bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, may it become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, in commemoration of St. John of the Cross, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion may imitate what we now enact, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through our Lord Jesus Christ. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, bread and drink, drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, all the clergy, all who minister to your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. John of the Cross, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Together now we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your spirit. We offer each other a sign of peace. Peace, 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 be with you. peace. peace. May the mingling of the body and blood of Christ receive him. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, Jesus, the Lamb of God, he who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are we who have been invited to his banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who in St. John have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that, drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the Church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharist is ended. Let us go glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.